This is what I would call my studio build. And the studio build, if you look at it, it has everything set up exactly how I would like it. I have my monitor that's on the back. So it's all set to be able to have all the controls that I want. I can still change the battery by pushing this and pulling it out. It's not obstructed in any way. I have my EVF set up exactly where I like it on this side. Everything is set so I can grab the handle very nicely. My focus puller is over on this side. He or she has the whole focus wheel on this side. I got my Teradek fly in here for remote video and wireless video. It's really minimalistic to say the least. I remember back in the days of the Canon C500 where I had the codex recorder and I had three or four cables coming out of there and the power cables. It was just a cable disaster. This is very clean. Now let's go into the ergonomics of what makes the MoveCam cage so cool. I'm able to use all different ports here. I can come out of the back to the LCD screen. I can come right here, engage my uh, EVF. I also have start stop. I have HDMI. I have all these auxiliaries. I have, you know, SDI one and two. So SDI can go into uh, the AC's monitor. We can come out of that. I have still an SDI on the back here as well. It's really user friendly and enables you to go, you know, you got a low shot and you want to be able to move your EVF or if you want to be operating up like this, you know, there's all different ways to, to go into that. But it, it, what I like is it just gives you this wonderful ability to change it around, get it exactly how you like it, because that's what it's all comes down to. You want to be able to customize this baby into what feels good. Some people like it front heavy. Some people like it back heavy. I tend to like it right in the middle. If I drop my hands, the rig would completely stay there. Why is the handle up here? Well, because in the day you grab the mag. I never grabbed a handle down here. So in film, I always grab the mag. So this is where I operate from. I'm never back here. That's video shooters. This is cinema, baby. And I also use the handheld out here. One hand here, one hand up here. I find that it very rarely ever gets in the way and I'm able to move so nice with all of my panning and everything that I'm doing. Because you're one with the camera. And that's what I really love about this setup. Now, the Infinity Arm is incredibly beefy. I've actually, rigged a camera uh, so I've I've stripped it all down and I've rigged it with a C stand and I use this to be able to get my camera exactly where I want it so uh, I have tilt pan all that stuff and then I can lock this arm and it literally will hold the whole weight of the camera not totally tricked out like this but more the bare bones so you know a lot of times I'll do you know quick overhead shots where I can just rig it right up to the ceiling. You know, you're dealing with nine or 10 foot ceilings. So I'm able to just literally clamp it with that uh, infinity arm and get that overhead very quick. Now let's talk about PL mounts for a second. The one I absolutely love on the red now is this black one because it has these nice flanges here that is much more film style. So you can grab and get in there. The titanium mount is this silver mount and it's a little hard to get in there and there's not anything to get your nail on <coughs> and crack it. Sometimes those lenses are so tight. So I'm really into the magnesium mount. All right, let's talk follow focus here. We're rolling out with the move cam system right now. The ergonomics are very nice. Uh, it's very smooth and again, what I'm talking about is you being able to afford this system. If you're going with the Airy Follow Focus, we're talking six to $8,000. This system all in is under 3,000 bucks. I'm talking to you about stuff that works, 
uh, and is not going to break the bank. It has total adjustability. I'm able to slide this rail in and out, no problem, change in lenses, slide it out, put it back in, lock it in. I'm able to adjust how tight this is. There's different gear ratios that you can go on all. There's different gear uh, you know, speeds, so you can go much faster with your racks. So it gives you a whole uh, wonderful play kit uh, when you're using this move cam system. You have speed crank handles, you got the big uh, you know, uh, whips that you can come way out here uh, to focus that you clip right in here and you got your whip out here. All these different types of things come in that kit. It's not an extra add-on. That's what's so cool about it. If I'm on my movies, I'm definitely rolling out with the Airy Follow Focus. That's what all my ACs love. But when you're owner operator and you're looking for stuff that is going to not break the bank, this is a great setup. And it's going to be tried and true and work for you. Now, when I'm going out on movies, I'm rolling out with the move cam cage. I'm not going to anyone else other than this because I found it is the best one that really holds up in and has this hot swap system. The hot swap is so essential with the red. When the red goes down with power and that has to boot back up, it feels like it takes 17 hours to come back up. When the director and the AD are saying, can we go? What's happening? When is this camera going to come up? What's going on? Can we go? Can we go? And it takes something that only is 35 to 40 seconds and turns it into 17 hours with stress. So with the hot swap system, I am able to literally eject this battery and it immediately starts counting down. So you can see 113, 112, 111. So now I'm going to, I got my new battery now. And once it locks in, it's back up to 143 seconds. So this hot swap is huge. And this cage system is again, very inexpensive. It's there for the filmmakers, for the owner operators and for the professionals. So it's, it's a good system. And like I said, I, I, I've tried so many of these, I want something that's gonna work. The reason for the monitor back here, which I really like is red makes it very, very easy to access all the controls and they do it all on their touch screen. So I'm able to change color temp. I'm able to change shutter speed, ISO, you know, frame rate, all these different things I'm able to go in and change 5K, 6K. So having a touch screen that's very close is incredibly important. And with this, I got my first AC that's over here pulling focus, and then he can just da-da-da-da-da, access that, and he can go back to this. If I wanna change something, I don't have to say, hey, could you change that? I can just go back here and change the little thing, and then get back into it as well. It makes the center of attention this touch screen, which is kind of how this camera works. This is the Matthews Infinity Arm, and I really love it because it, it doesn't bind like a Noga arm, and it really locks beautifully. And it's kind of beefy, but I like it because it's adding weight to my setup. And I'm all about adding more weight onto it. Now you can see I've gone with the blue shaped battery here that again, isn't the tall block. I have this setup, which I absolutely love. I'm able to check my battery here. I have my hot swap, so I'm at 140 seconds before this baby goes down. I'm able to go right here, and if I want to, I can use the blue shape power station. Now, you have the Anton Bauer VCLX. Now, what makes this better? Well, because not only does this system completely waterproof. You can throw the damn thing in a pool if you wanted to. Oh, we just happen to have one over here. No, just kidding. But you have a full system of batteries in here. You can put 180s, you can put 240s in here. Can we give you 48 volts or 28 volts? It also is a charger. And I've clamped these to the back seat of cars and I'm able to power up two Airy SkyPanel S60s for four hours 
just on these batteries. So it's an impressive system where other ones do not do this type of stuff. And I'm able to close it right back up and I can get into and power up my camera as well. Let me put in some neutral density. Now with the red camera, the internal NDs don't really exist. The motion mount is something that I was really never a big fan of. So you're still locked into putting NDs in front of your lens, which can cause several problems. They, you can cause double and triple reflection. There's a lot of things that putting glass in front of the lens can kick your ass, let's say. But Kipper Tie, which is a company in London, has come out with an internal wheel called the Revolva. You can get either a PL mount or an EF mount. Now that's a really cool thing to kind of look at because it clamps right on to the camera and enables you to get internal NDs, just like the wheel. So like an Airy, you know, Alexa Mini has internal NDs. This is going to be the same type of setup, which is very exciting. I can't wait to strap the, the revolver on this camera. But when we don't have that, we turn to Tiffin with their new natural NDs. And you can kind of see it has a, a beautiful quality. This is a full IR cut. It's a full spectrum filter. And uh, I've done a ton of testing with these filters and we have got them in the pocket right now. It gives you the purest color. Even when you get into the two ones, you're not going into the fire crest mode of purples and greens and all this kind of stuff. It is consistent from a 0.3 all the way up to the two one. There's no color shift. And this is a big deal. Uh, getting that full spectrum of color when you get into massive IR pollution. 